Bowman here at BW1.com. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the installation process of Windows 7. Now this version of Windows 7 I have is build 7100, which is supposed to be the release candidate build, the RC build for short. So we're gonna see how the installation process goes. So let's begin here. As you can look at the main screen, here's the first screen that pops up when you um, put the disk in. And you have the choice between what language to install, which this one only has English. You, have, you can change your time and currency right here. And you can change your keyboard input. Once you've chosen what you want on that screen, click next. And down here at the bottom, you can click what, what to know before installing Windows. It gives you some tips and some ideas on what, what to know before installing Windows. Pretty self-explanatory. And next down here is repair your computer. If you have Windows 7 installed already, for some reason you can't boot, or you can't um, load Windows, or it keeps crashing, you can try to repair your computer. They can do some different tools and different tricks to try and get it to work again. So for us, we want to do a clean installation, so we're going to click install now. If you notice, you know it's a nice kind of blue background, nice and smooth, with the uh, kind of the green grass on the right side. It's kind of right at very graphical interface, very similar to Windows uh, Vista. So here's your license agreement, you want to click uh, accept these terms, click next. And you have two options here, you can either upgrade, you can upgrade from uh, Windows Vista or you can upgrade from a previous beta version of, of uh, Windows 7 or you can click, what we're going to click is custom which is we want to install a new copy of Windows right over it. So here when you click on that Come here to disk partition. You can um, refresh the disk if you plugged in a new one. You can load drivers if you need drivers to get this to show up. And you have your drive options here on the side. And when you click drive options, you have the options to delete, format, you can extend, create kind of create a partition. So what we're gonna what we're gonna do is right, I'm actually gonna delete this disk here. This kind of wipes off the partition. Then I'm gonna click new and you can choose the partition size. It's gonna choose the biggest partition it can to take up the whole drive. If you want to kind of have a second drive, you can make that partition, this partition smaller, and it will uh, only partition that part of the drive, and the other partition will be unallocated space, which you can choose to use for something else. So we're gonna use the whole drive in this case, so I'll click Apply. To ensure all Windows, that all Windows features work correctly, what if I create additional partitions for, for system files? So we'll click OK. And a format. So it seems like what they do in Windows 7, which is very similar to Linux, they sort of have, I guess, a, kind of a swap file type or swap uh, partition type of thing going on. So they give you about 100, they take about 100 megabytes away specifically for that, and that's system. And this is the primary right here, which is this zero partition too. So we want to click um, format on this one. And you just want to partition it. Probably already partition, but I like to click on it twice just to make sure it is. Once it's been partitioned, you click next and the installation process will begin. Sometimes if you, if you have a wireless 
card installed like on a laptop, I've seen it that way. It'll actually actually if you want to connect connect to a network and which network you want to connect it to. So there we are, you have your start menu, you have a desktop here, and this is Windows 7. If you see here at the bottom is evaluation copy. This is a 7100 build. I'm gonna zoom in on the corner there if I can. Get that on camera. Might be a little blurry. There you go. This is the Windows 7 uh, 7100 build. This is the RC build. So that's a quick way to show you how to install it. There's your Windows 7 installation. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And uh, I'm gonna go through the beta of this and try to pick through and give you some things to look forward to. So this is Bomo from BW1.com. Give you a quick installation tour of Windows 7. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.